Um, hi, guys. I'm Rennie. Um, you know, as I sit here, um, the common denominator in every one of these amazing stories, in every one of these amazing individuals, is that ultimately it's not about them. Um, each and every one of you has a God-given gift inside of you, but that gift is not a gift to you. That is a gift that is for this world, for you to open up for the world to create that ripple effect that these guys are creating. Um, I would say Christmas Day for me, the day I started to open it up, was, um, was probably my strategy session with Nick. Um, you've probably heard him go on a few times about how I showed up in a van um, to come to California with no prospects, no money, no job, no connections, literally just some camping equipment in my Eurovan I had been through a few false starts. I had been through a few relational traumas. I had been through a few failed businesses. And all that was left was a little bit of spark. All that was left was a little bit of passion for something greater, passion for something bigger. I had read in this book that most of us are are living our life under the sense of duty, but the only thing that'll change the world is we, if we start living out of a sense of passion. And I knew that that's what I had wanted, and that's how I had started driving. And, and I arrived here with, with no prospects, just a little bit of passion. And I sat through my first event with this team, and... I was maybe where some of you are sitting right now, almost, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of dreading someone to ask me to sign up for something. I was kind of dreading someone to ask me to pull the trigger. Um, but what happened was Nick was able to take my passion, my, the little flame that flickered inside of me that was pretty dusted over, and he was able to weaponize that with this one-hour strategy session that took all my different crazy ideas. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Creative people. Hey, he's get... not kidding about it. There was a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> 45 minutes was unpacking all of them. <laughs> I'm like, hey. We... <laughs> I was pitching Nick ideas that I had come up with in the car ride over. I... <laughs> so I had the passion without the discipline. I had the passion, but I needed someone to point it in a certain direction for me. I knew I was made for more than all the failures I had had. I knew I was made for more than I was living. I just didn't know how to get there. And so what Nick did was he weaponized that for me. He took it and he pointed it. See, we all have these gifts, but they take honing. They take sharpening. They take directing. And he looked at my life, he looked at how I had no stability, and he said, the fastest route to creating what you want to create is this. And in one hour, he mapped out for me what has become the only reason I can sit here today. I have a stable life in California where it's really expensive to live with a business we're hitting 20K every single month. All right? And I'm... But I'm only able to do that because when I sat where you're sitting now and listened to someone talk like I'm talking now, I decided to pull the trigger. I decided to go for it. You know, uh, I'm, I, I spent like 12 years in Philly, and we got this quarterback, um, like six quarterbacks ago. Um, <laughs> and he was offered two different contracts. He was offered like five years, 20 million, or one year, 1 million. And he knew inside himself that he was worth so much more than the five-year, 20 million. 
And so what he did is he took the one year, one million and said, I'm going to bet on myself. And that's what I did. I had nothing but a good credit score. I had nothing. I, no money, no job to make money. I had a good credit score and I bet on myself. And someone saw the passion in me. Someone saw the spark of life in me and was able to take my commitment, my pulling the trigger, my being willing to step out in faith, putting the deposit down, they were able to take that and turn that into a life here for me. So, but the thing is, what every single one of these people's stories should be telling you as you're sitting in your seat is you can too. I sat where you're sitting. I, I didn't want to pull the trigger. I was too scared too. I had every excuse also. Whatever you're telling yourself, I was telling myself that too. But let me qualify you right now. I want you to raise your hand if you've ever got up in the morning, gone to Starbucks, staring at your iPhone, got up to where it's your turn in line, looked up and saw an exact replica of yourself staring back at you working at the Starbucks. Same person. Who here has seen the exact same person staring back? No? No? (laughs) What that tells me is that your story still needs to be told. What that tells me is that your imprint Your legacy still needs to be left. I'm around a lot of really successful people. I see a lot of really unsuccessful people. All the successful people I see in my life are highly valued. And all the unsuccessful people I see in my life are undervalued. The key is who's doing the valuing. All the successful people I know are highly valued because that's how they value themselves. All the unsuccessful people I know are undervalued because that's how they see themselves. Do you see the dream you have? I'm looking out on a room of books that aren't written. I'm looking out on a room of businesses that aren't started. I'm looking out on a room of ministries that aren't started. Do you see that vision? Do you see that dream? Do you see the people it will touch? Do you see that gift getting open for this world as worth it? Worth it enough to take a deep breath, breathe out slow, and just squeeze the trigger? Come on, let's give a big hand for Rennie. (laughs) He just goes, sorry. (laughs) 